day by day, is the shizzle. What it do, what it is, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I am your host, Day Day, and today we have a special episode featuring two special guests, one of which I may not even need to introduce because he's been on here, what, three or four times. We got my bro Warren in the building. What it do? Big burn. You know what I'm saying? We in the... We here, man. We here. We here yet again. For the fifth time. Exactly. And also, we got my other bro, Billy, who was a special (laughs) co-director on one episode, but, you know, now he's actually on camera. Billy, what it do, bro? What's up with you? I'm always in the cut with it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 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 Listen, I I brought these fellas here along because, I mean, as y'all know, it's the 420 episode, but... You know, I, I had to, you know what I'm saying, bring Warren back again. He said, man, before you dip, before you part ways with the DMV, you got to, you know what I'm saying, get me on there at least one more time. I'm like, man, say It's no only more. right, man. It's only right. You know, got to send my boy off the right way. Say no got to send him off the right way, man. Yes, sir. Sure. And then if you can't tell, if you're watching by the helmet, again, this is a Monroe connection. Billy, ah. <laughs> Billy is like the fifth, you know, person from Monroe that I brought here. But, man, the, that yeah, Juco really, shit. that's yeah. what it's really it's about. It builds gang. a brotherhood. Real talk. So, listen. This is officially the week of 420, right? Mm-hmm. So we ain't going to waste no time in, with it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get straight to the nitty gritty. Let me ask y'all. And quick disclaimer. I know like stoners are going to you know, be like, every day is 420 for me. Like, what the fuck? Like, all right. Well, listen. Like I said, for celebratory purposes, yeah. we're going to enjoy the holiday this time around. God damn it. Man. We got to enjoy it. Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I'm not you know the biggest stoner out there. I don't even consider myself one. But, you know, I get it. And kind of washed. But that's another story. So listen, we're gonna get straight into the nitty gritty. Let me ask y'all, right? What's y'all favorite 420 memory? Mm-hmm. Mm. Shit, I had to take it back to them high school days. You know Wasn't it? Easy. High school days, hot box, and whoever got the car, we going to your car, bro. Mm. Roll them windows up. The hot box session. Pop that jam. Those were the days, Everybody wasn't it? Was the three, days, four man. J's. Can't roll them windows down. <sighs> And them shits be uncomfortable. Man, <laughs> boy, you being there. Them up, boy. Man. Begging for your life. What would it say? Your chest might hurt. Your throat might yeah, ache. But you going to be fried in that jump, man. Bro. You going to be gone up out of there. Yeah, those were the... Those, yeah. yeah. What about yeah, you, Juan? Shoot. I ain't, I ain't really start smoking until like, I got to college. So, like, I ain't going to hold Really? You. Yeah, for real, bro. I really ain't... You ain't smoking high school? I did one time at this party, bro. I hit, like... A little bit of the, I took like two puffs and that shit struck me. I said, nah. I'm That's that to, shook. Man, I was shook. <laughs> there was some some chocolates too. Some like my man oh, yeah. wrote back when they was popular. Yeah. Man. Oh yeah, we gonna get yeah, on that. Those nah, were the days. Uh, it was 2015, fresh. Right after we came back from spring, bro, at JUCO, bro. This nigga geeky. Right after we came back, bro. I think I think I think there was it was like a Friday then that they came. It was on a Friday. I slid with my man. Man went to the dispensary, bro, and then got some gas. We was hot boxing, and we was and we was in my Jetta. This one I had a Jetta, low ass Volkswagen. It's like five deep. Damn. And the in that joint just smoking out. Everybody had we each match at least two J's. And it was each. it was at least half of y'all was lining, wasn't it? Nah, it, I I was the biggest nigga. In that okay, okay, I was in, but I was in the driver's seat, so yeah, yeah, so, you yeah, Gucci. Yeah. I was already say because you know what I'm saying lining y'all y'all. Y'all official. Y'all, y'all travel yeah, together. Yeah, nah, you know what I'm sure. saying? I was ready to say, I know that was a car ride for your yeah. ass. <laughs> Billy crazy. Billy <laughs> that shit hit his ass, Billy. Billy. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you kind of to what you said, like with the high school shit, mine by far, like my favorite joints. I think this was the same 420. I remember like before I was driving or any of my friends was driving, nigga, we used to, we used to, uh, we would like skip school on 420 and go like in the woods type shit to the, like behind the CVS or behind the 7 Eleven. You know what I'm saying? Hit a, hit a vanilla Dutch full of some nasty shit. You know what I'm saying? Vanillas, <laughs> the vanillas, damn. <laughs> Full of some nasty shit. That's, that's just how it was, bro. Am I lying? That's how it was, bro. Mm. If you if you never if you ain't start off rolling up Dutches and Rellos full of mid, you not a real smoker. Mm-mm. 
And this don't pertain to people that were born after 96. Some are 95, mostly 94, 95. If you're born 96, 97, nah. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they, as soon as they started smoking, they went straight to, you know, this shit out here that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's killing. Hitting, that's, you know what I'm saying? We Doing. had to, we had to go through the humble stages. You know what I'm saying? That shit, we had to, you know what I'm saying? You ain't never get your shit out of baggy before. Oh, I got his green, know purple little bag. They don't know what that is. Y'all don't know about that. Baggy. And you some know, of y'all, y'all don't know about that. And you know what's crazy? I saw baggy. that shit on Twitter. Yeah, I didn't even know them shits went extinct. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. They could just either give it to you straight up or they got these I just didn't think about it. I, I'm going to probably sound wild, wild for saying that. I just didn't really think about it because I barely buy weed. So, right. like, I didn't even think about it. Like, you know what I mean? Right. But nah, that's a fact shit, nigga. I got one better for you. Mm. Foil? Oh, used to do Jordan foil. Y'all don't know nothing about that. I'm trying right, to tell y'all. That's yeah, OG smoking. Yeah. That's yeah, the real A, yeah. man. And they used them blunts used to hit too. Hit them, hit them, them things used to hit, hit man. Hit them Nixon dimes in the oh, oh, cop them Nixon dimes in the foil. Oh, your man's, man. Your man's be like, here, take that. Too many and memories. The foil dog, piece, bro. Man, they talking man. about bag shit, nigga. I remember foil. Boy, how we done other, how we evolved. And then it went man, from that to for a second the glass jars was in. Yeah, now, glass they still are, but not as much as you know bags. That's personal. That's yeah, like, yeah, glass is like yeah, yeah. He he got a fucks with you to give you the, yeah. give you the uh, glass joint. You know what I'm yeah, saying? For sure. So also pertaining to four twenty, let me ask y'all, what's the highest y'all ever been, ever? That one time that was like, nah. Mm. I'm trying to think. I think it was. It might be like a two way tie. I don't know. It was a time in my row. I was in a hot box with <laughs> some some good man. Some good man. I I you go. You know what I'm saying? Man. Some good man. Yeah, bro. Some good man. We was in that joke, bro. And this is my ver- this to the old girls. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was. Yeah. Yeah. We we, we slid out there. That yeah. We could tell them. We could tell them. Hey, man. We it was all girls school called CNR. Yeah, tell them how mm-hmm. we got here. Oh, bro. So. <laughs> so our bad, our good bad, our good bad. You know he on the show. He our was good, on the show. Yeah, he was on the show. Our good man, Kevin. You know what I'm saying? You remember know Kevin had the the great crown vic? Hell yeah, I remember that yeah. crown vic. He used to scare the shit out of me in that yeah. crown vic. Hey. I'm like, <laughs> Kev, like we gonna you make it to the right? red light, bro. Ain't no, ain't, you, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that go to him. Right. I'm like, bro, we gonna make it to the red light. Ain't no point of. You know what I'm saying? We we good, bro. <laughs> like, bro, relax, bro. <laughs> relax, nigga. What the fuck? Man, it was Nick, man. Yeah. My boy, that's my brother, man. But that was the highest you ever been, uh, hot boxing his crown, I bitch? think I, I was, it was, yeah, it was me. It was me. Big Bill was in that job. Bill was in that job. I feel like it was. I feel, oh, no, I feel yeah, like it was so, more. That's saying Lyman, y'all used to. Deep, yeah, that's what I'm deep, saying. Bro. Lyman always. And I was like, yeah, they bro. Let him finish the story though, Nick. Nah, we in this job. We just fried, bro. And then like, bro. We we decided we all agreed. We was like, you know, bro, let's slide out somewhere. Uh-huh. And then we was talking about it. We uh-huh. was like, yo, Kev, you know what I'm saying? Your crowd Vic you like spacious. Uh huh. So me being fried, I'm like, yo, Kev, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me let me let me let me ride in the trunk, bro. <laughs> hey, pop that joke. I'm saying there and everybody it was like, yeah. Nah, like, what's up with that? I'm like, I'm sitting there fried like, nah, like, let me just let me lay in the truck right quick, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's ride. I'll see how he was like, bro. I drive fast, bro. So I don't, <laughs> nigga. Damn, I'm like, bro. I was fried, bro. So everybody else was what they was like. At this point, they like, nah, bro. We like, nah, bro. Nah, nah, get in that Joe. This just yeah, funny like niggas is hot. They want to like, see that shit. Get like, your man, ass in the I truck. Done, I done smoke this up now. I'm like, I don't know. This is a good idea. Right. And all of a sudden, it's too late. Yeah. Everybody, he didn't he didn't got to go. He like, nah, get in the truck. I need to, yeah, you damn out the door by now. Yeah, so now I'm in the Joe, bro. Snake Kev, hey, start bro. the car, bro. I'm in the joint in the back, Nick. And soon I'm thinking like, all right, these niggas not about to really do it, bro. The whole time, I'm like, he's he playing. He's not about to do it for real. Kev, turn the engine on, bro. And then my heart just <laughs> dropped. I said, oh, they for real. So we just riding around. Kev was y'all like hitting it too, bro. Yeah. Kev was hitting the drove. He, he That's what got, I'm, I'm thinking like that you got in the truck when Kev drove. And then he was hitting it, bro. Like. He was hitting the turns. I'm in the back just rolling, just like, oh, oh, just all that. I'm like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the material at it was soft, but it's just like, damn, all that Still. moving. Like, was y'all hearing crazy. him move around, Billy? Was y'all hearing him, like, in the joint moving around uh, and shit? Uh, no, look, we get fry. to a light. We try to figure out if he okay. We 
We we turn the music down all day. We like war war. This ain't go. Yo, <laughs> I say yo, and niggas in the car started dying, bro. Hey, started dying laughing, bro. Yeah, yeah that's that's. that's, that's smile, hey, you a brave one for that. What about you, Belly? My highest moment, bro. My man Ruben on the floor beneath me had the blue dream. That was the real blue dream. I ain't never hey, had. Hey, shout that out my boy Ruben. Hey, hey, shout out my boy Ruben. Definitely Rube, big shout out. Shout out Ruben, man. Talk but a little, talk a little closer to the mic. My fault. Definitely yeah, big shout out Ruben. But that was the highest time, bro. That real blue dream, bro. Drugged out. Slum. How about that? that? Was a kite. For real, Blue yeah, Dream, I, I might have had Blue Dream before. I don't know. Someone could have said it. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But how about that fucking mixtape, Blue Dream and Lean? Oh, yeah, was sure. that a classic or what? Won a state you, championship? Well, not won a state championship. Went to a state championship off that mixtape. Oh, Blue off Yeah, because that, that was high school when it came out. Yup. Yup. You graduated 13, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, so that was our. That was the end of, I remember. I remember the day Blue Dream came out. It was the end of our junior year of high school. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was summertime. It was perfect. Niggas was big blunted. Went to a state championship off that mixtape. When yeah. it dropped, downloaded it. Every game played that. Yeah. Slim bump from top to bottom. That shit was a classic from the intro. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Drawn yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about that. Man. Yeah, that's yeah, a fucking that's classic cool. mixtape. That's a classic, like, high mixtapes. Like, for real, that has to be up there. Yeah, we going, we going to circle back to that. Mm -hmm. The highest sure. I, I was, I was talking to my peoples about this. The highest I ever been, I've been to Amsterdam before. Ah, oh. how was that? What's up with that? First off, not even the weed. You think we turn up out here in Vegas and Miami? We don't have shit on Amsterdam, yeah. yo. It's just all they shit is secluded. They don't put their shit on Front Street. Yeah. You can't record yeah. shit in Amsterdam. Turn, you pull yeah. a phone out, they be like, nah, 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 what you doing? Nah, put that away. Yeah. Bro, yeah. we don't have shit on Amsterdam, bro. Like, like, it's the red light district is insane. But needless to say, so they have official, what they, they have a menu when you walk into the coffee shops. Damn. It's a menu, like at a restaurant that has the weed, the strand, whether it's an indica sativa, what it comes from, what it's a mix of, mm. and it's really the real deal. So I hit some. Um, uh, yeah, I gotta get. Yeah, I had to take a hit to this story. I hit. I had cops some. It was some shit that was OG mixed with sour. That was the hybrid, and then I had some blueberry haze. Haze is sativa. It puts you up. That OG and sour was an indica. You know what I'm saying? To put you down, some shit, right? Mm -hmm. But I, I still don't really fully know the shit is real until I'm out there. Back home, right. it's like, whatever. <laughs> right. I real, mix yeah. the shit in a blunt. I put the shit in the same blunt, and I hit it. It's nighttime. I lay down for a second, and instantly, sleep paralysis kicked in. I couldn't oh, fucking Lord. move. <laughs> Boy, I was I'm awake. Stuck. My eyes was open. I could think, but I could not move or speak. Uh, and I'm and for hours in my head, I'm like, yo! Ma, DJ, Jaden, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, like, I couldn't Damn. move, yo. Yeah, that's what I, I'm joking. That shit just, was insane. And I'm not, yo, I'm not over exaggerating. Like, I really could not move or speak. That shit was insane. I woke up the next morning, I was like, okay. I straight tried to jump into these waters. Let me let me <laughs> let me get in the three feet. Back. Yeah, let me yeah, let me let me, let me walk down back. the steps into the three feet. Move around in it first. And then I got a hang of it. But that I underestimated it, yo. Yeah. No, it, I ain't gonna lie. It was one time. And I'm saying, I know you remember this, bro. After we smoked, uh, I think it was late. And then like, I know what you about to say, bro. We, bro, <laughs> me and this man tried to go through. I don't know if it was Taco Bell. Or it McDonald's. was McDonald's. It was McDonald's, bro. And back, this Joe wasn't 24 hours. Yeah, you know the Joe down the street. He walked in the drive through. I ain't do it. I recorded this. I'm gonna put it on here too. Bro, I, I think I was there. Huh? Was you? Nah, nah. It was just me. It was me and him, bro. Because it was off the late, bro. This, it was off the late, bro. So nigga like, walked up bro, to the drive I walked up to the drive through, bro. bro. I was so hungry, bro. Everything was closed, bro. He walked up to my window. Hello? Bro, <laughs> my wild ass ain't eating nothing the whole day, bro. I, I, I was wild, and I'm like, I just smoked with this nigga. I'm like, young. I'm hungry, bro. Yo, I hope I have that joint. I'm definitely bro, putting it on the video. Bro, I walked like, through absolutely. the joint. They like, uh, excuse me, sir. You must be in a vehicle. I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't have one, but I'm hungry, dog. Like... Yeah. Work with me. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. What y'all need me to run through this joint? Yo. Run around like shit. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Get a bicycle. What's y'all favorite? What's y'all <laughs> I'm pretty sure they would have went for the bike. Went for the bike. Which is crazy. Like, all right, it's just like, they what the fuck? No What's the difference? Food, no, for real. They say you no food, bro. 
Man, they was like, if you don't get your, yeah, if you don't get, get your high ass, the fuck out of here, nigga. They ain't fuck with us. Bro, it was like midnight, one in the midnight morning. Midnight, one in the morning, bro. It's cold as shit out. This nigga, you know what I'm saying, just walking through the drive through. Swallowing, bro. I was like, boy, if you don't get your tall, husky ass, the fuck <laughs> out of here. This nigga high as shit, y'all. Look yeah, at this shit. <laughs> right down the street of New York City. Crazy. Crazy. What's, let me ask y'all, what's y'all favorite high? And when I say that, like, um, it's so many ways. You got edibles, you got regular blunts or, pay, or you know what I'm saying, uh, J's. You got dabs, bong rips. What's y'all favorite type of high? Like, with me, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it don't get no better than, you know, just rolling your own J for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's... It's the coolest thing for me, you yeah. know. People, you know, I tried the pens. You know, the pens cool. You know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah the pens, pens cool. The they edibles, was cool at first. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying the edibles. I mean, I, no, nah, I, f- I fuck with the edibles too. Yeah, the edibles yeah. too. I do fuck with the edibles, and like the bong rips and like probably the other stuff. And like, nah, that sh- that should be a little, a little harsh. Yeah, the that edibles. Crazy. I, I'm always like outcast for saying this. Yeah, I'm an edible. Yeah. Like, I will definitely take an edible, a good edible. I've probably eaten about six or seven edibles. In my lifetime, but only two of them work. Mm. See mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So a good, a good, ed- and the one that really like my that gave me like the best like high ever was the edible in Amsterdam. Again, I, I didn't know because I had edibles back home and it was bullshit. So I get out right, there right. thinking it's sweet. I gave a corner to my baby brother. I say baby brother because he's the youngest. He wasn't a baby. He was you know he was like I don't know, like shit. I don't know how old was he? he was probably like eleven. <laughs> I, he was like twelve. I don't know, <laughs> but I gave him a, a piece. I gave him like half or a piece. So was gone. And he started was tripping. Done. He started tripping, <laughs> and he's never gone. been high before. On top of that, uh, so it hit his ass. And he ain't know what the he. Yeah, the, <laughs> but nah, yeah, that was my favorite joint. It, yo, I'm a good edible. You know what I'm saying? Because it really feel like your whole body just yeah. floating on butter. Mm. Nah, I got to twist mine though. I gotta twist mine. You say twist mine? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I think sure, that's man. that's like the oh, ninety nine percentile shit. type yeah, thing. No doubt. You know I'm, I'm always a little weird with shit. That's a, but um, so. not even with just so also with like not even just smoking. Like yo, the weed market, the weed game in the weed market. Do y'all think it's at a great position or it's fucked up right now? It's a. It's definitely a seller's market. You could you could do what you want to do. Get your money. It's yeah. beautiful Anybody for the seller, bro. Anybody right can now, sell yeah. weed, bro. But it's Any fucked for fuck. the consumer. It's fuck. Yeah, because now, Hit. like, it's a lot of, Here's why like, I say that. Here's why I say well, Go ahead. What you about to say? Nah, because, like, it now, like... who you are. It yeah, it depends who you know. It, for real. It depends Everything on who you know. Everything depends on who you know, but... Yeah. It depends on who you know. But now, like, I, the way I look at it, not like, you know what I'm saying, we in this pandemic or whatever this is, you know what I'm saying, but, like, you know, people, these flights, they cheap, so, like, now niggas just going to Vegas, Cali, like, mm-hmm. for the low, for some extra low shit. Now, like, they like, shit, nigga, you know, come back out, get some good gas out there, some good shit, bring it back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got plugged, and everybody, you know what I'm saying, they got connects, you know what I'm saying, networking, they, you know what I'm saying, they so just plugged in now. On that aspect, yeah, it's great. It's great. I'm talking about yeah. the, the, the people that can't. Go to Cali or don't know someone that is going to Cali or if it is someone that say they are, they really not right. type shit. And here's why I say it's fucked up for the consumer right now because mm-hmm. now what really fucked it up was you know what I'm saying the corporate level of this shit, the legal and corporate level of this shit stepping into the the average consumer's world because yeah, they bring out yeah. dispos and you know what I'm saying all this medical shit right. So it's dispensaries everywhere. Mm-hmm. So that fucks it up for the average consumer because for one. But what I'm saying is the dispos, the the dispensaries. Right. Of course, the price of it is going to be higher than you know what I mean, is what has been before, right? Depending right, on yeah, yeah. exactly. I'm saying like a good dispensary. But the thing right. is, it's niggas that say they have what comes from the dispensary, uh, but may not. Man, man. All it take now is a pretty bag. You know what I'm saying to slap some cool. You can buy the fucking bags, right? So crazy. the game is. Fuck for the consumer, Definitely. booming for the seller, because they may have some shit that before, or they know it's probably fifteen a gram. They can sell for twenty. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying twenty a gram now, just because they say it Got came from bag, here, right. or it's representing it in the package that it's in when it's really not right. even that. Right. Yeah. right. So it's beautiful for the seller. Niggas is right. hustling. Right. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Bro. But for the average consumer, mm-hmm. it's it's fuck, and it's and uh, that's just my opinion on it. You're right. No, you're right. No, you're right. But yeah, it's, you're it right. can be beautiful right. for like you said, the person who's really plugged in. With the Cali trips. Mm-hmm. Not even just Cali trips. You plugged in around the way, I guess. You want to say, yeah. Yeah, like really plugged in. Yeah. 
And it's fucked up, man. Um, it, the f- most fucked up part about it, of where it all stems from, is the like I said, the corporate level of weed stepping into the picture, mm-hmm. the legal and corporate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, picture of it, which is right. fucked. It's fucked up. I, I, fucked I, I hate this fucking country a lot it's of wild times. We yeah. really suck, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. How you know what I'm saying? People that ain't sell a fraction of what you selling. Nah, for real. Doing. Half the shit you're doing right now. Yeah. Maybe half the money you making right somebody now. Doing decades. For, you somebody gone right for a dub five. five. Yeah, like, come saying. on, bro. Doing decades. Right, me. Doing, doing decades. Come on, bro. Because of this. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean to make it like that, but it's a white dude out Cali right now. You know what I'm saying? Cooling off this shit. That shit crazy. Yeah, bro. Bro. Sure, Washington out Oregon. Cooling off this shit right now. And it's a nigga in jail off a dub sack. Mm. Come on, bro. Off a dub, like, come on, this shit is ridiculous. They just, it's fucked up, man, because all this time they, you know, pushing the narrative of, you know, us and weed, and then all of a sudden they just woke up and was like, all right, it's time to flip the script on these niggas. Let's let's go ahead and, yeah, let's go ahead and get paid off this shit that they've been getting, you know what I'm saying, uh, prison time for. Let's go ahead and, let's get paid what they've been getting slaved for. Oh, yeah. That's the crazy thing, yeah. Well, well, not... I don't know the full details, but not all of them. It is still some, but um, when I did the episode with my dog Ant on Man Time, he was saying how some date, you know, if you was locked up after a certain date, then you were pretty much, like, exonerated, I guess is the politically correct term. I don't know, but, yeah, yeah okay. I, I think, yeah. like, after uh um, get some a, dope. The fuck yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> Man, what? Why like, well, can't we get what y'all getting? Mm-hmm. And then here's the kicker. So it's it's it's... They're not just going to, you know, once they did this, they wasn't just on some, okay, so we're making it legal so anyone can get it legal now, right? Mm -hmm. To get plugged in with the shit is crazy expensive. And you got to go through a lot. You got to go through, like I said, you got to go through them. And it's crazy crazy. expensive. Like Like, we would have to have bands. We would have to be clean on the legal side. Like... Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a um, you know it's definitely it's a, a maze. Game. Yeah, they you know set it up for just them, of course. That's why you got shout out to, uh, you know, what I'm saying Jay Z with um, I forgot about. It. I need to right, start doing right. some more fucking research. But I've seen something about that too. Though. Pretty much, he it's like a it's like a, a grant you know that he mm-hmm. gave towards small um medical marijuana mm-hmm. medical marijuana businesses. Like I said, it's mm-hmm. crazy expensive to really get up there with it. So he's like you know giving grants to like I think it's like a ten mil. You know, grants oh, yeah, to like small dope. businesses for yeah, you know tough. trying to get into it. Yeah, that's tough. It's only right. Yeah, real nigga right there, man. For real. Yeah. Cause I was selling more than that gas. Man, <laughs> huh, you better listen to them albums. <laughs> it'll go though. Shit. But I mean, that's why, man. That 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 type of shit is important in general. Yeah. Really elevating the whole black community. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like people be trying, I don't, I still don't know why people try to bash Jay Z for all the shit he does for the black community. But like low key too, it's a lot of shit he's done that hasn't even hit the air. Mm, yeah, right. think about the stuff he do off off air. Like mm. come on now, he really he really out here. He really with the people, bro. You know That's who strong. else? You know who else from the community getting in it? Your boy Urkel. Oh yeah, Y'all see that shit, Steve Urkel. That Steve Urkel, yeah, he, that purple Urkel. He got a line Ooh, called got a, yeah. Purple Urkel. Purple Urkel. You know what I'm saying. I was planning on seeing them bags come out soon. Would y'all smoke that shit? That's actually great marketing on his end, first and foremost. But would y'all smoke that shit, Purple Urkel? Y'all gonna y'all gonna fuck with that Purple Urkel? Shoot, why not? What that? You will fuck with to see the price. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. There we go. Nah, for real. If he ain't looking out, if If he ain't looking out for his people, then we gonna tell Urkel to get the fuck on. The only big weed like that I'm looking, I was looking forward to trying was that Nipsey Hustle. Mm-hmm. Or that birth You know what I'm saying? I had that that Khalifa. That oh yeah, K- you had KK. That shit. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever had any rappers weed. Slump. Did you say like that official? KK? I had money bag official. runs. Official. You had money yeah, bag. Them John hits. Them John hit the money yeah. bag runs. That's what's yeah, up. Dude. That's what's up. So we need a shit. That's what. That's what need to happen, man. We need to start just making endless strains. You know what I'm saying? And then from there, that's you what know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I know. I fuck with gunplay. <laughs> mm. I follow him on IG and shit. I know he got a, you know what I'm saying? He got a strand of shit. Oh, right. Like, who would have thought, yeah, right? Shit. Yeah, yeah. It's wild <laughs> ass. That motherfucker lit, though. But, um, yeah, nah, it's it's crazy. It's hella, you know, loopholes, black markets to this shit. Y'all know how it is. Yeah, it's dirty game by it, boy. <clears throat> Definitely dirty game. All right, so listen, right? It's the week of 420. <laughs> a highly anticipated versus is on the way. 
if it hasn't happened already by the time you're listening to this with the Red Man and Method Man, they're doing a How High 420 special. Mm. So before we get into the actual verses for that, let me ask y'all, is How High the best weed movie ever? Yes. If not, then what is? Yes, it's How High. How High. Billy's it's thinking. He's going in the I vault. Think, I think How High I think he's going to reel out a great one. What do you got, Billy? Yeah, what you about to reel out? Have y'all seen Half Baked? Of course. Have baked. Ooh. Talk, talk into the uh, mic a little have, more. Have y'all seen half or, or just like, like kind of have project a little more. Um, of course. Yes. Have, that's, half Bake is that that shit. Joke. Half Bake is a must. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, how high was the best though? How was probably high. Probably. Yeah, right? Yeah, like, for bro, sure, bro. Even it's today, even after it's watching a it a hundred times, you can watch that shit and it's fucking hilarious. hilarious the casting for that, that shit was on point. Yeah. Had uh, baby powder at Mike Epps uh, on some subtle shit. <laughs> Ain't nobody say that now, nutter like you. <laughs> like, nah, nutter, nah, nutter, nah, nutter, nah, nutter, nah, nutter, nah, nutter out of them. <laughs> baby powder was that nigga. He he he's, I'm talking about pimping, 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 pimping. See, I come from a lot of pimps. He said, You come from a lot of my sister pimps. <laughs> <laughs> Slim. Hey. <laughs> hey yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think that is he said how Mike was a cameo, like he's and he's slim. still yeah, right. and, and right. we're dying high laughing off it. Yeah. High how high. high, okay, okay, cool. Yeah, um geez. yeah, how high does have it. But of course, you know, we can't, you know, like to have baked Friday, you know, all those oh, they know, go Fridays. right fucking there. But I, how high is just yeah, different, man. Yeah, how high is yeah. It's you know what else? Right. Try this. Do either you'll have Amazon Prime? Yes, yeah. sir. Try this and everyone out there listening too. Watch a kung fu movie high. And I'm talking about uh the real kung fu movie by uh, what was the name of the bros? The something brother something brothers that made the oh scope, scope bros that made the official kung fu movies back in like the 70s where the words are off yeah. and all that shit. Bro, <laughs> kung fu movies <laughs> high is in. the most amazing shit ever. Uh mm. you wanna see some shit? The Nick the Bamas who made the John Wick joint. Mm-hmm. Look them up. We'll watch some of they shit, bro. Oh yeah, I you think imagine. John Wick is bad? Yeah, I can How that be showing mm-hmm. shit? Mm-hmm. Nah, that them Asian dudes they be going hard, bro. You gotta I'm see them. Check. I can imagine. I can imagine. Get crazy. I could definitely imagine it. All right, so yeah, back to the verses. How do y'all think the verse is gonna go? Y'all looking forward to it? Is it yeah, Red sure. Man versus Method mm-hmm. Man? So it's weird because now technically it's they yeah it's technically verses, them, but, but it's, they, they just, how can you do a versus of Red Man and Method Man? They was a saying? group or something yeah. like that. They was I mean, together. Yeah, they were together. they're not an official group, but right. they've always right. Been, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Just, they was like, yeah. yeah, I mean, but yeah. shit, they've done that before. Like Ray, Raekwon and uh, Ghost, both Ghost from Wu, and they did a versus. So I think now, like, it's not so as heavily. Focused on oh, them competitiveness. Is yeah, just, yeah, it's not as competitive. Just yeah, yeah. Right it's technically a versus, so people still gonna keep score. Right. But yeah, it's a versus with Red Man and Method Man. I mean, I don't, I don't really listen to them two people. No, they had some stuff. What? You know yeah, what I'm bro, that's my shit. Stuff. That's right up my alley, I'm man. Telling you. Muddy Waters, Thirty Six Chambers, oh, geez, and then yeah. the shit method on his own, like bro, yeah. And then they got some shit together that's going, yeah, for sure. The Rock Wilder, you yeah. know what I'm saying, boy. Shout out Def Jam Vendetta. I'm oh, telling you, man. niggas remember. Oh yeah, they, Def Jam was on that show. Def Jam Vendetta. Yeah, that was that shit. Red Man, his specialty, he would literally kick the shit kick out. Kick the shit out. Yeah, you. He would bro. kick you in, in the balls. balls. <laughs> and no, it was, yeah, it was like yeah, 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 yeah. Because pause, you would be like in a bent over, because he would knock you out. You would be like on the ground, like kind of slumped over. Yeah, and he would. Just uppercut you oh with his Tim. He wore Tim's in the he game, <laughs> and he will uppercut you in like your ass, balls, and gooch area all at once. And you would just go like five feet in the air, bro. Yeah. And then as soon as you land on the ground, and then he just look around and then just boot the shit. Out you, yeah, bro. bro. That shit was crazy. Yeah, bro. It was it was ugly, but nah, that was that fucking game right there. That was that game, It's a classic. So but I, so are y'all looking forward to it? Oh no, I'm you said you barely played. You fucking with it? Yeah, I'm fucking with it. Man, I think it's gonna be lit, and then it's dropping on 420. I tell you right now, man, it's gonna be a lot of gas in the air. Them motherfuckers blow it down, <laughs> bro. There's gonna be a lot of weed in there. A lot of weed in there. Everyone too, they're gonna be smacked. Too. I mean, it's 420. Yeah, it's red and meth. Like, how can you not? Man. I probably won't. I probably won't be, but. Um, Cause I'll be coming from somewhere, but still, like, how can you not? You know what I'm saying? Nah, straight up. So, I got two questions for y'all with verses, right? Yeah. <clears throat> First yeah. is, 
I know they're gonna be tough to answer. Versus yes, the the versus thing has been amazing. I think I just, Swiss and Tim, you know what I'm saying they really came through for niggas with this because they've been bringing people on that. You know what I'm saying like, yo, you know what I mean? They've been bringing people on that um really like damn I hear this in a minute. The Osley joints, the Osley and Earth Wind. Did y'all watch that joint? I watched a little bit of it. You you watch it, Billy? I was, I was you ain't you ain't fucking with it, Billy? Shit. You too trapped out, oh, yeah, Billy. Bro. That's got, that soul, got that's that, that soul yeah, that's that soul shit, man. Bro. You know what I'm saying? But plus my, my nah, grandparents bro. raised me, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm so, you know what I'm saying? This nigga is dying. He's dying. That's that soul <laughs> shit right there, <laughs> Billy. You fucking that money that up, bro. I was I was at work when that joke was going on. I was grooving that above truck. That was that. But nah, the kill is niggas was dropping pictures and I'm like who the fuck is that? <laughs> I ain't oh yeah, the cause them niggas dressing, bro. Oh, you talking about the old pictures? Old oh, pictures. Isley, whoever the fuck. That During the verses or like in the past? Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, bro. Yeah, that was, uh, Dang. yeah that's that was Biggs. The, that's yeah, Ron. That's yeah, the Biggs. Yeah. yeah. That's, hey, you know he got pimp in his blood. I ain't recognize that. Nigga. All That's what I'm was saying, thirsting bro. over that nigga. Man, that nigga, grannies bro. and aunties was man. Yeah, bro. They was going. They had to get checked on after that. I'm telling you, younger joints too. You yeah, know, that, big, yeah, it was man, lusting you know, over there. You know there. Biggs got some younger joints. Come on now. You know he OG. do. OG. Come on now. That's pimping his blood. Pulled up with the cane and the mink. I'm telling you, bro. Come, Come on, on looking, looking player. Come on now. We Damn, already know. boy. Shout outs. But nah, but I'm saying like, so that's the beautiful part of Versus. So you had older people that could have really reminisced off that shit, bro. And even shit I would hear, I'd be like, yo, I hear this in like 15 plus years. Like, yeah. goddamn. Like, but nah, but... um. Yeah, they've been they've been doing their thing with the verses. Uh, I was gonna ask. With that being said, first question is: out of the verses that they've done so far, which have been great, let me get a top three of the verses so far. Me, my my top three. No, this is this in no order either. Can I go first? Oh, no, you go ahead. Yeah, go, yeah, no, go, go for three. I don't got none. Be, I don't got nothing to be honest. With you. I don't got shit. You ain't seen you ain't seen you ain't none see of them. Any no, of them? I didn't watch. I don't watch that. <sighs> I don't, I don't have Instagram on my phone, bro. But that Gucci Jeezy. Oh, yeah, that's in there. Did you that's watch that? that? I was no. about to say you that. ain't watched that? I watched highlights. I watched snippets. That Mine. shit was. Okay. So I needed. Okay. Yeah, but you still got snippets. the gist. I got, got the, the gist, gist of what was going that on. That fucking thing was tense. And Watt wanted smoke. <laughs> yeah, that thing was yeah. tense. Yeah. So let's go ahead and throw that at number one on the list, shall we? Gucci wanted smoke. That's number one. Gucci and Jeezy is number one. Because it was. It was the most highly anticipated. Hey, I'm talking about 15 years 15 niggas waited for this. Slim. And it happened on Versus. Jeezy pulled up, bruh. Hell they bound. ready for war. Hell war bound war. off war. rip. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was number one. That was the most tense. We was, th we was a thousand miles away, and you still felt the tension in the air, bro. Yeah, for I, th like, I, nah, I thought some shit was going to pop up. I thought someone was... I, had to, I was feeling on my... Like, hold Happy on, it didn't. Like, Happy it didn't. Good. Happy it didn't. Because we... I think we all knew... What was going to come at some point that would have really set the set the set it, it off? Already, he said it. N yeah. No, no, no. The, I'm talking about truth. He set it off, yeah, right? Nah, no, no, no. He, he said, he said, free kill. We smoking Pookie Loke tonight. Oh, yeah, no. nah, no, no. Yeah, he did say that. That wasn't in the beginning, but he said that like kind of like a little towards, the, towards end. the end. But I'm talking about that came along with truth. truth. Shell was supposed to fly. Yeah, but see, I don't, yeah. I don't know That's the full your story. Man. Says who though? Did Gigi ever say that was his man? He was signed to his label. Was, he was signed to his label? Yeah. He was like one of like the little low kid, like the rappers, like niggas be signing this shit that don't So really did Gigi tell, tell him to do a hit? Because no, I heard you no, no, He sent him he out, but no, he, he sent him. No, he didn't send nobody. Oh, he, he put did? money oh, on so the man's chain. Exactly. He put money on the man's chain, and them people went to go get it. But when but, he but when he put money on him, he was on the radio. Do you think Gigi was 120% for real when he said it? Over the radio. Yeah. I think, I, he, think he, I think he regretted it the, the minute he walked out that hell station. Yeah, I mean, he, he don't did. say of no shit like that. Yeah, you don't say no shit like that. Yeah, yeah if you, you don't, really, of course you don't regret it. I think he was thinking. I think he was thinking they're trying to kind of get some, you know, publicity. But still, after he said it, yeah, it was. It was like he in the streets. Yeah, he said it, and, and niggas, yeah. and niggas listen to the radio. That. His man went to go get Come that. that should, but either way, that's your man. He it clearly had a conversation with this man. He signed this record. He but, had songs with this man. Yeah, that's your man. He on the stage. I'm like, we smoking Pookie Loke tonight. I mean, but shit, wow. Jeezy sent the hit out to him. So it's like, can wow. you expect yeah, him not to say that? Can, yeah, that shit was yo. That shit was he tense. Said that bitch public I'm glad too, nothing bro, did pop like, off, but that shit was tense. It was tense. So that's <laughs> so that's number one. Excuse me, that was number one. Um. And we going yeah, we might as well say fuck it and come with a I I think that's for all of our number ones, right? So what else yeah, y'all got for so Billy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 
I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie. I was. Oh yeah, go ahead, twist up, brother. Yeah, you know. Yeah, shout out to them boys at Jokes Up, by the way. You know what I'm saying for the grunts, man. Appreciate you. Good shout out Bamboo too. Yeah, shout out. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Listen, I'll shout out to the, shout, shout out to the first company because you know what I'm saying. They, you know, I, I fuck with the black community, but Bamboo they ain't giving us. Right. They ain't okay. giving us no money. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Just, <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> no, but nah, but uh, nah, on a serious note, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I was fucking with what's the name, Joe? Uh, I think it was Brandy and somebody. I think she went to Monica. Yeah, I was, I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was, yeah. I, I, yeah, I was fucking with that Joe. That Joe was a vibe, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, you know, yeah. that Joe was tough. I ain't gonna lie. That Joe was tough, you know what I'm saying? Real I music. Ain't, I ain't watched Real that. Real R&B niggas, yeah. no. You know I ain't watched that shit, but I was laid up with Shorty when that was on. When she was on, yeah. Years, that was the game. Niggas, you hit the show. You was bobbing your head a little bit. Ass. No, was no was stop, stop boy, stop. About, then they, he, then niggas don't know. Then Shorty come late or some shit. She didn't come in that show. She didn't come in that show late, dog. Yo, thought. Yo thought he was about to agree with it. That shit was ass. <laughs> bro, he don't, bro, he don't listen to That's like, bro, cool. Like, he don't, like, come on, I didn't bro, watch like, it, so yeah, I can't say. Right, like, they did come late bro. to that joint. You talking about that joint with top what? Yeah, I watched that joint. So well, go ahead. Go I talk your shit. Talk your shit, bro. Sure, bro. I mean, yeah, so a lot of people did fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? It was a vibe. Like you said, the best verses so far have been vibes, except for Jeezy and Gucci. That was that was smoke. That wasn't vibes. That was all smoke. But um, all right, so what's your third? And uh. The John I seen so far. Um, oh. Damn. I know it's tough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's y'all like great. tough because I, oh, yeah. Damn. Let me give you my three while you think. Yo, of it. yeah, I got. I might only have two I was as well. I say Rick Ross and uh, Two Chain. Yeah, I was cool. fucking with that Yeah, yeah, that was cool. Bro. You know I what? I was fucking with that. You joke. know what I noticed about that but, one? Yeah, it was. Uh, before you get to your, uh, before you uh, finalize your answer, mm. what I noticed about that Rick Ross Two Chains was it was a lot of songs that had Drake featured. Like, yeah, especially from Ross. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, right, and that's not yeah. to discredit what they had going on. I just say that to say this: Who's the best Drake feature? That's nah, come on, bro. You can't do that. I have to. I'm sorry. You can't do that. It made bro. me think of it. I, I, up to this day, up to date, right yes. now. Yes, that's that's because you got some. Bro. You got two chain. You got Ross. You got Wayne. You got um um me. Uh, I was already saying me. Future. Future. That whole tape. The whole tape was I'm about to say yeah, bro. Cause that's the only. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, like yeah, future. But yeah. I, I, it's, best, I feel like it's some Drake other niggas. Is future. Future. Yeah, it's future. Well, but yeah. I feel like it's other niggas that did songs with Drake that didn't, that that crank, bro. I was. I, mean, going, I was. You got classic shit, like trying, old school shit. Yeah, bro. bro. But like it's some current shit that I could that you can argue. What, bro? It's some current shit up Ross, to date. Like, from nah, not the new. Nah, I mean nah. We. Ain't, I'm talking about a new. I'm talking about from like past twenty three years. Or yeah, so? the three or four years three, you could argue years. is up there, bro. Yeah, it is yeah. some stuff that. So it's kind of hard. The but future right hits. now, consistency. Yeah, but because like I ain't gonna hold. I don't know if he's writing on that shit. The, the, nah, he's right. Come on, bro. We, <laughs> I don't know. On, I don't he's know. writing. He's the writing. Shit. It, come the, on, the, stop it. Hope the, so, but the most classic probably would be Wayne. But yeah, the future. I think you hit it on the head with that one. And I was actually gonna say Ross. Cause yeah, Ross, Ross and Ross and Drake has some fucking hits. They know how to they know how to like intertwine their music. They because they both like kind of slow pitched on things. They're mm. not speedy and all over the place. Right. And I think that was I, th- I was going to say Ross. I would put them too. I think yeah, Future and Drake got it because yeah, they be snapping. They be snapping for sure. It's by your um, it's by that. your feet. What the f- oh yeah, right, I got you. Oh, but but um, you know, this nigga so, Drake got hits with a lot of niggas. That shit. Yeah. So yeah. is that your second? I mean, is that your third, the two chain and Ross joint? For, it might be, yeah. That's it not bad. Really nah, that joint was cool. They yeah, had some joints I heard in a minute. I was yeah. fucking with it. Um, all right, so, damn. All right, so, since Billy can't attest to it, I would say, <laughs> from, and I didn't see all of them neither. I didn't see the Raekwon and Ghostface one, which I heard was great. And I listened to at least one song off Only, Be- for Cu- Only Built for Cuban Links at least every day in 36. Yeah. Like, I listened to a lot of Wu-Tang. Yeah, so, so I'm kind of sure. still I, I, I had to tune into that one so I can't call that one I heard it was good but I can't call it first is Jeezy and Gucci like we said mm-hmm. my second favorite so far might mm, honestly I would have to say the 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 Beanie Man and Bounty Hunter oh 
That shit I didn't was a see vibe. That, joint, but that I shit said, was I saw a vibe. Highlights. That shit was a great vibe. Like the whole way through. That joint was sweet. You gotta watch the whole thing. That shit was. They was geeking, bro. But it was all love, bro. That joint was a vibe. I would probably put that number two. Number yeah, three. Straight up. Uh, shit. My third favorite so far. It's between. I really did like the Osley and Earth Wind and Joint because it just they just had classics the whole way through, and you really realize how many classics they have, Earth, Wind and, Fire and still kicking, man. and how many songs they have that people sampled that you thought was the original right. by the sampled, but not nah, that came them, from them. them you know, that's why they boys, did it, like, bro. Yeah, yeah, they got them like bops. Like, no, we did this. I would have to give a tie between them and the DMX and Snoop. R. P. X. Of course, R. P. X. Man, but I yeah, one. yeah, I was about to say, I'm gonna go watch that. I ain't know about that one. That was a yeah, that was a vibe, and especially I don't know for some reason my favorite part of that whole verses was when X did slipping because when he was singing the hook, man, yo, you was feeling it through mm. X. X was yeah, feeling it when he was singing, yeah. I'm slipping, I'm falling, mm. I'm slipping, yeah. I'm falling. Like bro, like I was yeah. like, damn, that shit hard. Mm. I, so yeah, I will put the third as a tie between the Earth Wind. And the Isley joints, yeah. I, I, I might, I might gotta put my that Isley joint up there because I was really wrong under that joint. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that, that Isley Earth went. I'm like, God, push that. I don't know, stay true to yours, brother. Stay true to yours. Stay but true I got, to yours. like I said, the third, our third option was y'all like hard, bro. Yeah, but it was a lot between. Yeah, yeah as you said, Brandy and Monica. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they got some bombs, bro. Listen, bro. Ask hey, your hey, shorty. Hey. Ask your shorty. When you go, look, ask her. Ask her. She know. She know. I'm telling you. I like just I don't told like you. the fact that every time Monica get on the track, she gotta be talking bad on the brothers, man. God <laughs> damn. Who the fuck? It be her features. It be her features, though. It's her features. Like her songs alone, nah. But her features. Bro. Shit. Someone gotta do a let them rock. Hey. Make the real ones look she even better. She can't be innocent. That's all I'm saying. She did. <laughs> of course, something. those be uh, man. man that, that's the single track, bro. That's the that's Damn. the beautiful fucked up part about us. How Some we be, you know, what I'm saying, projecting the same shit that we lack in just the insecurities. You know how that shit go. So mm -hmm. it, it just comes with it. So I got another question for y'all for verses. This one you can answer, even though you ain't see the uh, other ones. And I think this one will be a little harder than the first question. I'm sorry. It's just, uh, you know, what I mean, gotta keep it, yeah, gotta, keep, gotta it keep it funky. Keep it if you could have one versus battle in heaven, they talk to him. Mm. One versus heaven edition, talk to him. Mm. Would you have Teddy P and Marvin, <laughs> Michael Jackson and Prince, mm. Biggie Smalls and Tupac? Out of those three verses, you can only choose one. What are you going with? Well, you gotta go Biggie Pac. Say that again. You gotta go Biggie Pac. You gotta go Biggie Pac. Though. Gotta you go Biggie Pac. You got to. Yes. You got to. Yes, what you think? You got to. That's a tie between that and the. No, Mike ain't, and no Prince. ain't no ties. Ain't no ties. I need I'm one. I'm sorry, fool. You going Michael? You and can't. Prince? I don't, bro. Mm. Biggie and Pac though. That's what? cool, bro. <laughs> Biggie and Pac. <laughs> There'll be a lot of freaky ass that's sounds on that you, motherfucker. Man, what? That's for the ladies, <laughs> right? Bruh, the ladies had that one, but, but still, they got clear. Yeah, they got cool. They got hits. Hey, hey, Mike, cool Mike, come on, At the same bro. time, in between time. Come on, that, 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 that go. I feel you, yeah. But I'm going to nah, even that I, big. Nah, I'm a, I do. I but Pac and Biggie, they versus. I think I that will be the most you, anticipated. Be the most, nah. Boy, that will. You think Jeezy and Gucci was smoking the air? If Pac and Big did the verses, even in heaven, that joint going to be tense. That could be ten times as bad as the Jeezy Gucci joint. Who shot you? Bro, can you imagine when Pac plays hit him up? Who shot? Oh yeah, my god! Oh my god! So Fuck your <laughs> bitch! Yo! Oh my god! And and, and, the, and the ad libs at the end of the song when it's, when Pac was going on. It's a jiggle. That shit, yeah, that would that's by far probably the most anticipated. That would be anticipated yeah, as fuck. Anticipated. But I respect yours with the MJ and Prince. You know, that'll be his. That'll, 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 be, that'll be a show. show. I think that will be the biggest show. That, is, yeah. that will be show, the biggest bro. show. I'm telling you, Absolutely. Bro. That will be the biggest show by far. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna go with the Teddy P and Marvin. Teddy P oh no, yeah. I can't, I, man, that verse is Rick in there. I don't want with Rick James, man. Rick James? Rick James. Yeah. But see against who though? Yeah, I guess who? Rick against because who? Because Marvin and Teddy wasn't, Rick was a little more, you know, mm -hmm. rowdy than them two. Music, not, I'm pretty sure they all was turned up, but music-wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. his music was a little, you know, faster than Teddy P and Marvin. Mm -hmm. I'm going with Teddy P and Marvin, man. That joint, yeah. You trying on some cool shit. Yeah, exactly. Cool shit. Exactly. Exactly. And, yo, you know what I was thinking about? The best, like, one of the best things about Marvin Gaye? I think he was the best to do it. 
I think Kells is behind him. Kinky Kells. Don't kill me for saying that. It's just I, <laughs> music only. Music I'm talking only. Music no, only. we talking music only. The, we king, ain't, the you second, know what the second king of all time of R and B is Kinky Kells. I'm just saying music only. Yeah. Don't kill me. Yeah. But with Marvin, bro, a lot of shit that a lot of a lot of stuff in general that you know was uh, back in the day when it was ran by black execs like Barry Gordy and then when they controlled what was going on the airwave. Yeah. Um, a lot of shit was like a lot of a lot of that shit is relevant today. Yeah, it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Relevant. Like a lot. They really talked about, you know what I'm saying, shit going on back then that's clear as fuck today. Um, you know what I'm saying? Marvin used to always uh, sing about, you know, trigger happy police. Mm -hmm. This was in the seventies. Look what the fuck just happened within the past two weeks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the thing that's crazy that I think about is that was relevant back then, but why now is it not as relevant in music? It's diluted. Because yeah. it went from the hands of Barry Gordy and them to you know uh, you know uh, white execs white a white A and R's you know it's usually like Jews you know what I'm saying it's nothing yeah. against Jews I want to make but, that clear you know, I'm just literally stating you know facts. what's a fact yeah. so of course they you know kind of went away from you know speaking the real message of shit going on now yeah. it's just you know turned up shit us looking rowdy than a motherfucker yeah, straight up. and that comes with it that can come with it but that's what's in control. The main source ain't really in control no more how it was back then. But yeah, I was definitely... What, my, most importantly, that's what's selling. Come on, Sad man. to say. Sad to say. We just being 100. That's what's selling. Yeah. Nobody, but, uh, but, like, but, 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 you know, it, we're programmed to buy that. You know what I mean? There we go. We weren't just... We are programmed. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they purposely took us away from, you know... The shit that might uplift as much. It's still some out there. Not saying it's none. Not saying it's completely uh, no, gone. Right. But yeah. it's not. It's not the front and center. Yeah. Like it was. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like it's Steve Harvey was. Evident, Steve know. Harvey was talking about that on the verses, and a lot of people was coming for him. I love rap. Always will. Yeah. So I don't care. Like I, I saw what he was saying. He wasn't dogging rap. He was just saying. You know what I'm saying? It's not as much soulful. But um, since I asked that with those three, who'd I say? I said Teddy P, and Marvin. Right. That's like 70s, right? 70s and 80s. Michael Jackson and Prince, that's 80s, 90s, especially more so 80s from, from Michael. 80s from my head. You know what I'm saying? And then Big and Pockets, 90s. So, with that being said, if y'all could go back in time and travel to any era, any decade, and spend a whole year in it, what would you choose? Any. You could choose the fucking Renaissance time if you want. Fuck Fit no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. 20s. The way they treated us? Right, Fuck yeah, no. Yeah, 40s, 50s, 60s. All right, so let's keep it 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Mm. I mean, we were, we're 90s babies, and yeah. we was like, we remember the 90s, so I guess, eh, let's say our age now in the 90s, right? I want to go to the 80s. I want to see the 80s. I want to see the 80s, yeah. yeah the 80s seem like they, yeah, I want to see how they were. I want to see the 80s. Was, but it was popping in. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all say the 80s? Just saying, like, you know, like, hmm. for like. I'm trying to get some of that crack money. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Damn. Damn. You smoke crack, don't you? <laughs> Look at me, boy. <laughs> you smoke crack, don't you? <laughs> hey, no. no. Hey, Billy <laughs> with Tony. Billy with Tony. Yo, yeah, Morgan is a fool. <laughs> Morgan is a fool, bro. I ain't mad at you, bro. <laughs> Why would you fuck with the 80s, boy? No, the eighties, you know. What about the what about the eighties? Because for real, I ain't gonna hold you. A lot of because for real, me, it's a lot of people that was still alive in the eighties back then. You know what I'm saying? That you could like, you know what I'm saying, like look at and like actually see, right. or probably like you know what I'm saying, like possibly interact with. Bro. What you mean? Like you know what I'm saying, like Bob Marley, he ain't died like so like went like late like the late. I, no, I think he died like in the late eighties. I have no idea. So like probably like the early part of like you know what I'm saying, like then you know you got you know what I'm saying. Just you know, it's a, just a lot of figures that you know that you could, you know, what I'm saying, still see, you know, what I'm saying, and like you know, embrace yeah. a lot of people that was, you know, still yeah, around. Yeah, that. yeah, for sure, it was probably cool still, as shit. especially in this area. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, especially. Respect it, respect it. I would go with the '70s. I would go late '60s, early '70s, minus. Uh, well, you can't say minus racism. That's a part of American history. Yeah, it's America, a part, it's a part, a part of American family. culture, and I'm not saying it to embrace it. I'm just saying to expose it. Yeah, racism is a part know. of American history, no culture, and everything foreseen. Right. From the top to the bottom. Fucking it's... bullshit.
Shit washed. But I would go late 60s, early 70s because they was turned up, man. <laughs> they was wild. So I would spend like a whole year wild. I would be a hippie, wild the yes, fuck out. I would, I would want to go to Woodstock and all that shit, wild out. Shit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then and then after the year, get myself together, get back on my yeah. shit. Because yeah. them motherfuckers was burnt out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers was burnt out. I would have I would have I would have turned up. You know what I'm saying? I would have went to like Jimi Hendrix concert, like yes. fucked up. <laughs> Bro, they was at, could you imagine a Jimi Hendrix concert like off acid and yeah. shrooms, just, and that weed, hit. Like the fuck up. all that, they, wasn't, they hit, wasn't drinking, uh, they probably was drinking, but they wasn't drinking, they was they was off LSD yeah. all day, every day, peace yeah. man, <laughs> that's why they talk so wavy, because everything yeah. they saw was wavy, the whole yeah, world was waving right. off the fucking LSD, so they would talk wavy, peace bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's fucking rad. No, that is. No, for real. Groovy. He's <laughs> groovy. But the only down part with going to the 60s and 70s is they wasn't really so up on, uh, you know, grooming. If you catch my drift, no. it would have been a lot of their they, they music could they hairy frauds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It would have been a lot Not of, a, you know what I'm saying? I would have been like, oh, I would, I would have like, I would have innovated like, you like made it up. clippers because yeah. like, they wasn't using it back then. So I would have innovated and got rich off it. Like I would have took up. lawnmowers idea to like the seventies and got bread. Like, listen, <laughs> it's easier access. <laughs> mm-hmm. No more catching heads in your tongue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> keep nah, it, keep up. it, keep it close to the earth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Everybody, keep it close to the earth. I'm telling y'all, it's lit. It's lit. <laughs> Ain't, 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 it ain't gonna be as sticky after you know what I'm saying. Keep everything close. It's lit. It was a. It was. A, it would. It would have been a lot of you know what I'm saying. But hey, I just came with it. That was the only thing I would have. You know what I'm saying. Uh, everywhere, probably deodorant too. I don't know if they was up on deodorant as much. It, mm. Just hygiene in general. Yeah, hygiene they didn't give a fuck about hygiene. It was worried about getting high. You know what I'm saying. That's so, a high and hygiene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were just having hygiene. That's it. <laughs> nah, that was a, that was a swing in the mess. I should have kept it that way. <laughs> <laughs> the hygiene. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? But um, all right. So also, you know, what I'm saying with 420 being here, whatnot. I want to talk about some things that go hand in hand with weed, with being high, like music and laughter. I think those are like perfect. Music, laughter, and food are perfect things that go with weed, right? I tell you why. Perfect. I tell you why. Why I is can't. That? Well, not I can't. I don't say that, but. I drive better when I'm fried. Really? When I'm smoking fried, I drive way better. It's the opposite for me. I can't help it. I, I drive slow as shit when I'm high. I don't even realize it. Yeah. Until I look at the speedometer and be like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. That's why people flying past me and shit. shit I got Beep. road rage, bro. Mm-hmm. When you high? I got road rage. Motherfuckers can't drive. It's, yes, it's yeah, you because you're so focused. And you I know see. that fucking Toyota Camry go faster than forty miles an hour. I know the dashboard say more than forty miles an hour. Mm-hmm. You're on the fucking highway, bro. Go, <laughs> fucking nah, that go. fucking blow me. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> nah, so, and, the, and the bad thing about Maryland drivers is, bro, people will two things. They don't speed up until they see you trying to speed oh, up yeah, around that them. Shit what the fuck is that so about? Trying to pass you, you want to be a dickhead. Now you want to speed now up. You want to act like you. What the fuck? Why does me trying to get to where I'm going wake you the fuck you feel up? Me. And another thing is, people truly still don't understand what that fucking left lane mean. Uh-huh. You hear me? That means you got to kick it, brother. What the uh-huh. fuck, sister? What you doing? Hey, I tell you, don't come over here. Don't come over here with, come over here with, over here with that bullshit. Stay over there with that Stay shit. Stay over there man. with that shit, man. <laughs> hey, hey, man, with it. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> Ah, but with the with the music and the and the laughter going with weed, let me ask y'all one or two questions. First, being greatest weed song. I get high, I get high, oh, I yeah. get high. Nope. Will you live with me? That's a great one. That's your Styles P. Yeah, every day. Yo, that's come on, one. man. You know, man. That's to me. That's my. That's right. that's it. Nah, that's a great one. That's it. What yeah. you got, Billy? Billy looks disappointed in that answer. Nah, fuck. What you what, disappointed what you, in, nigga? <laughs> nah, what you about to pull don't out do that. Hat? Don't do that. This is about to be a I great one. I think you got one. a good one. What you about to pull this out the hat? This is about to be a great one. Gucci Man, Pee Wee, Long Way, Dope Show. Go pop that. Oh. Gucci Man. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. that. Spark your J and put that on. Man. 1017. 
Dream Team. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. That's that shit. shit. What about the oh, hold on, the Pee Wee Logway. How high? You ain't hip. Blue M and M. That's a good one. I like the I like the joint I Billy said because it's more three different more drugs. Molly gasoline. I saw my day on three different drugs. Molly gasoline. How high? How high? high. high. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new crate. Y'all, y'all, I, I like those answers, man. Y'all put out some. No, these shows. What, what you got? Bro? What you got? I know you go. You go and throw it out. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you that's got. That's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. Listen. I think the only uh, top two of the top three belong to the same person or persons, if you would, uh, Bone Thugs. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Their 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 itiner- their weaponry and ah. high songs. They got like five great high songs. I got one for them too. One of them. One of them was on um next Friday. And this is for the week. Yeah, this is for the week. Get a pat on the pat on the pat on the Yeah, that's Jay Go. That's one. Okay. They got a song called Weed Song. I think that's number one. I think that's the greatest weed song ever. Weed yeah. Song by Bone Thugs. Okay. That shit is, okay. is, is, is only right. And Buddha Lovers is a great one too. Mm-hmm. And that's a whole non biased answer. Ooh. If I had to be biased. I, if I had to be biased, just because this was the first high song I heard high and it hits. Up by Wiz Khalifa, Cushion oh, OJ. Yeah, yeah. That Cush- whole mixtape, yeah. Yeah, Cushion OJ. It definitely a whole mixtape. Yeah, but I was gonna say anything about Wiz. Though. Yeah, I ordered that vinyl. Matter Come of fact, now. and Amazon yeah. even hurry the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they got a vinyl for that. Come on, bro. Now. It's like it's like green, bro. It's lit. I'm like, yeah, I need that. Yeah, bro, I need that. I think it's like forty. Get it before it go out. Vinyls be going out quick, bro, and then they be flipping the price. Uh, People getting hit, bro. Uh, when all this digital shit goes, then you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, nah, I, I think that. So, what's a greater high mixtape? That Cushion OJ or that Blue Dream and Lean? Cushion OJ. Cushion OJ. <laughs> Cushion OJ. Yeah. yeah. Cushion OJ is classic. The greatest yeah. weed joint. But yeah, first time I heard up, I was at the park. This was, like I said, this was the Vanilla Duchess in mid days. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't start off smoking mid, then you're not a real one, like we said. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about people that are of age, born after, born, born before Straight 96 up. and shit. You know what I'm saying? The youngins, they, they got it sweet, but but little do they know. Listen, first time I heard that up, it was on the phone. It was on the Virgin Mobile phone, the shit that slid up, the rumor. Niggas, the rumor. Niggas, niggas had to file. Shout out to my nigga Cash. You know what I'm saying? Hope all is well. Hope all is well, bro. My nigga Cash. Ain't, bro. It was like five of us. We hitting the nasty vanilla Dutch. Joint right here. Joint right here in the circle, right? <laughs> in the middle of the circle. Niggas yeah, like, hey, listen. In the to middle this. of the circle, bro. You, you got to put it right here. Yeah, 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 you hold it right here. You had. My nigga Cash. He's like, y'all, listen to this. Man, I was floating when I heard yeah, that, that shit. Thing Especially the. Everything <laughs> better when you hot. That J Rock, though. The chorus when that shit came on, I was like, "Hold up, y'all! Don't talk to me. I ain't even on this planet, so I won't hear you." <laughs> Wait till I touch back down. It'll be a minute. I'm gonna be a little second. <laughs> that whole tape crank. Yeah, absolutely. Nah, those. I, that's a great lineup of weed songs. You know what I'm saying? If y'all haven't heard, you know what I'm saying? All we laid out about yeah, five. We laid tune in, hits. tune in, and them joints for sure. Spotify, Apple Music, Spinrilla. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. get up, get up in it. Those were the live big tape days. Yes, sir. That piff. And that piff. And that piff. Yeah. Piff. Yeah. Spinrilla. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fucking, uh, also, what I said would go with about laughter. Yeah. Of course, right? Uh-huh. So let me ask y'all. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Best comedy. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. We got to come up with a collective. Top five DOA. Top five Dead or Alive. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Bernie y'all Mac. heard it right. You know what I'm saying? We brought Any it back. Top five DOA. Stand up comedians, Bernie, Bernie Mac, Mac. I completely agree. I don't think yeah, he's number one. To say he got to be in there, but he's not number one though. He Who's number one to you? One. Who's I don't know, you? bro. I don't know, bro. So why won't you put Mac one? I think I'm Mac bro, is capable Mac, of one. I need Mac back, bro. Cause F is Mac funny as shit. Mike oh, is yeah, fuck, oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, Mike, come on, bro. All right, so we'll throw them on there. We'll throw them on. Don't do that, bro. I want to put. Listen, I would love. Yeah, we. Those are easy three. Cause you forget about Eddie. Eddie Eddie Murphy Griffin. Eddie Griffin? Nah. Nah. He's hilarious. Nah, he's hilarious. I know. Yo, I him up there. But, bro, we have two spots left. <laughs> and we can't give that to Eddie Griffin. Out now. Yeah, I will give it to Murphy before Griffin, bro. Come on, bro. What? But I'm not giving it to Eddie Murphy. But I think so we're talking no- about pure stand-up. Nice. Yeah. Okay, ever. all right, bet. Ever. ever. Okay. Bro, number one has to... Bro, Mac is a goat. He is the goat. Yeah. 
But, I might be because I'm about to say because my number five. I ain't, who's I'm your number five? You, not, he's barred number five. I don't Ooh. know how y'all gonna feel about Ooh. it. I'm Kevin Hart. No. No, he had She's two great. He stand had two. Up? He had two, two great ones. Stand up, y'all ain't y'all ain't see his old I mean, shit. Y'all ain't, ain't see his old that shit. That last Jay was that last Jay was stupid. The last oh, two and three, guess, bro. The last but, like two. Uh, the last but, two been corny, bro. But, he he has some of the greatest stand up shows ever. But he's not he's not consistent enough, I'd bro. Watch Kim in the movie. Yeah, bro. There's a lot of Kim, people that are consistent. Man. Number one, bro. Richard Pryor, gotta be. Yeah. Now listen. Because I can tell that y'all don't listen to him as much as I have he recently. Back. He went back, though. Cause I'm talking about some shit that I have. Like, you know, yeah, niggas grow up on it. I ain't grow up. Nah, you ain't got to grow up on it. Man. But I at least you, listen to it. I listen to that shit at work. I be, I be listening to stand-ups at work. For example, we're going to talk about Fred. And I know a lot of old heads will be like, shit, if you're going to say Rich, you got to throw Fred. I didn't listen to Fred, so I can't call so that. Go watch some Fred. Fred. I ain't go Fred watch some of Shane. He's to, uh, a wild boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I know a wild dude. What about Martin? I don't fuck with Martin. Hold, 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 hold on. Hold that. Hold on. I'm glad, I'm glad y'all said that. Hold that thought. But real quick with the Richard Pryor, and even I'm pretty Fred Sanford was like this too, but I can't attest I ain't listened to him as much yet. I be at work listening to stand-ups. That keep me upbeat. I be laughing, bro. When I be like, man, fuck this. Right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I listen yeah. to stand-ups and right. I just be good. But um, like Marvin, with, with, with Richard Pryor, bro, shit that he was telling 50 years ago, you would have thought was written last week. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Like, I'm not exaggerating. I know it's 70, so you think old, and I ain't trying to listen to that shit. If you listen to a stand up from Richard Pryor in the 70s, you would have thought it was written last week. Right. Mm -hmm. Relevant is shit. He was ahead of his time, and he set the bar. That's why I put Pryor at number one. Mac, Sorry. if not for Pryor, I would definitely put Mac one easily. But, you know, I, I just got to give it a prize. Mac, definitely, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right cool. So who do, we, who do we have for three? Did we put Epps at three or is he in there? Epps could be three. Epps at three? He had three. Epps at three. I'm not mad at it. Three, yeah. I'm not. I can I'm take not, Epps at three. Okay, yeah. I'm not mad at it. We got two slots left. Now, to get they, back to what you said, you mentioned Martin. No, I was just asking, like, how, 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 how nah. we feel. But, you know, Dave Chappelle, number four. Dave, yeah. If okay, not Dave. three, it's real. I have a competition between him and Mike at three. And stand up, Mike. <sighs> yeah. Listen, cause Mike. I would be. put. All right, so Chappelle. I, I, me personally, I would put Martin over Chappelle for stand up. What? Yeah. My. Martin stand up. Martin, so great. come on, that run tail. That. Come I'm on, tripping. Bro. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm oh, tripping. Oh. I knew it would hit. Like I knew it would hit. I'm tripping. Epps can't be three. Who's three? And honestly, I would put him at two, but I don't think y'all would let me put him over Mac. So we'll keep Mac. Ooh, I Mac mean, I, at three, at least. Even though I thought I would put him two. Robin, Robin Harris. Robin, Robin Harris. Harris. Exactly. Y'all never. Baby's kids. Harris. The nigga from Baby's kids. I ain't know who the fuck that is. I ain't know who the hell. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, He's probably funny as shit, but that's cool. But I'm gonna yeah. play some shit after this joint. But um, yeah, nah. A lot of people. When I say that, a lot of people be like, "Who?" You talking about putting them over apps? Yeah. Crazy. If y'all listen to him, you will. But Crazy. respect. So can I at least can I at least be on the list? I mean, I'm, he got F I. All right, well, all right. He we we gotta come up. He ain't never Daisy Bell. He is. I'm telling you, bro. Hell He's no. he. Honestly, I will mm. put him over Mac. But listen, y'all have it. Listen. Oh, I ain't never heard of Listen. Oh, I no, no. Oh, listen. I know, I, I know I'm sounding crazy, except okay. to the people of those who have heard Robin Harris stand ups. They I'm won't think I'm sounding crazy. But, bro, I'm I, 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 listen. If I never heard of Robin Harris neither, I would think I sound crazy right now. But I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. But for the sake of that, has, this has to be a collective. He's funnier than milk and cookies. By Bernie Mac, that he funny the milk and cookies. Uh, not a, uh, I don't think anything. That's probably the greatest. So my fell out of my chest, bro. That, that's yeah. That's probably the greatest. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Stand up show skit or line ever. I'm not. I don't know. That was tough. But his shows was good. I listened to them shits that were great, yeah. superb. But listen, for the sake of this is a collective top five. You ain't got to be on there. It's cool. All right. So we got Richard Pryor, Bernie Mac, Mike, Mike Epps three. Epps. Four, you said Chappelle at four. They you was big on Eddie Griffin. What happened to him? Yeah. I mean, yeah, Griffin. On the, I think he need to be on the list of top five. Top five. Yes. You ever watch a Griffin Overseas show? Overseas, Griffin? 
I listen to Steve Harvey Community's I. He has some good ones, but yeah, I, but yeah, yeah. DL too. DL Hughley a classic too. Yeah, but I DL, I watch the DL, um, nah, I listen to a lot of Eddie. His shit is hilarious. I mean, we're not gonna talk about Cat Williams. I was, I was just about to say Cat. I was See, just that's about the, to say Cat. That's the runs. That's the runs. Man. Stop that's it. The we, we, the, we, that's the runs go, that got us from getting shit. Oh, like how the go, fuck? Man, yeah, Cat yeah, Williams. Cat yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, him and Epps is very close. So I want to be mad who Cat goes where, but we'll put Mike at four. We'll put Cat at four. Yeah, okay. his yeah. stand ups. Wee. Yeah. Them yeah. Pimp Chronicles. Yeah. Oh, was it American Hustler? Yeah, all, all that, all his shit. All of them. Pepin, it's like everybody all had of them. that bootleg. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, okay, yeah, nah. I'm tripping. That makes sense. Cat Williams there, for sure. <laughs> all right, so what we got? One more spot? Mm. This know. is where they get down to the nitty gritty. I don't know. Who getting that last spot? It's five? Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anyone I missed. I, think. I don't yeah. think I missed anyone. Cedric the Entertainer is good. Cedric, Cedric yeah, good. Cedric, good. Cedric. Um, I wouldn't be mad at Chappelle, Eddie Murphy, Cedric Ooh, the Entertainer, I was about to say, Eddie. or DL going there. I wouldn't be mad at either one of them going five. People, yeah. Well, Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Chris Rock. He got some classics. He got yeah. some classics. Yeah. yeah. It's just so I say, okay, I think it has to be either between Chris Rock, Eddie Murphy, or Dave Chappelle for that fifth spot. I can't call who, but as long as one of them go, we cool. Yeah. I, I think it will mostly be Chappelle or, or I had Eddie. to go yeah. Chappelle, yeah. Chappelle. Yeah, okay. I had to go See, Chappelle boom. I'm, three. So I'm Pryor, cool Mac, Epps, Cat, and mm-hmm. Chappelle. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Respect. Yes, Respect sir. the... Yes, sir. Um... Yeah, but listen, with all that being said, again, thank you everybody for tuning in to the 420 special. Yes, sir. On the week of 420, we looking forward to the verses. You know what I'm saying? I know a Red, Meth, and everyone tuning in going to be in the mood. Yeah, of course, you know. Yeah, I'd like to thank my special guest, you know what I'm saying, Warren, Same. yet again. Same. My boy mm-hmm. Billy Cooling. You know what I'm saying? Roll one. There you go. Up, you know what I'm saying? So, again, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Make sure whether you're watching on YouTube, listening on your respective podcast platform, you know what I'm saying, that you go ahead and subscribe so that you can be kept up to date on every new episode. Until next time, everybody, Until make sure that you Until <laughs> next time, brother. Stay safe. Stay sane. And most importantly, stay blessed. Peace. And I got a FaceTime call. I'm about to accept this because I know he's going to edit this out. <laughs> so. Either I know he's going to I know he's going to edit this I out. Hope he's I gonna hope edit. he edits this out. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Hold on. Let me turn the volume down. Are you still recording? Yep. Yep. No, we're about to resume in a minute once he get out of the bathroom. And here we go. I know you're going to. Please edit this out. I mean, please edit this out. Please edit this out. Please edit this out. out.